What's going on guys? Welcome back to Eco Survival Experiment. Today we're going to start off the video with a server tour and later on we're going to be adding Jared's pies back to the shop and we're hopefully going to be trading for a bunch of bricks. I'm also going to be working on my treehouse bakery because now we have glass from the trade yesterday. If you did miss that previous episode, I would recommend uh, checking out the playlist link down below to see either the previous three seasons of Eco or this one. And of course, subscribe when you're here and like the video. Let's get going. So right now I'm clearly flying around a beautiful, which I have confirmed now, is a submarine. He's in the process of cleaning out water out of it because uh, it filled up. And uh, the sea levels have been cranking. We're currently sitting at, if I do slash C in the chat, it tells me. We've raised 4.69, nice, blocks so far. And uh, there are some houses that are truly, in, in, like entirely submerged underwater. So we're going to be checking out some of those houses during the tour today. And there's just an otter on top of the uh, the submarine. It is now dubbed the SS Honor. Uh, Honor? Otter. And then just a quick look to the left, you can see someone's building a massive dome. So it seems like they've kind of carved out their own little piece of, uh, a little piece of heaven. And this is where they're going to live, farm, cook, live, live and live for the remainder of the experiment. I'm assuming this is going to be fully domed over. But on top of that, you probably can't even realize that there is anything here, but there is someone building underwater doing a thing called Project Atlantis. Boop, there it is. So this is a dome that uh, is built by the guy that sold me or traded me the glass for the leather. And uh, he has created his own little underwater dome bubble utopia that he's going to live in. He doesn't even care about rising water levels. He's already living underwater. And he did have a, uh, a nice, beautiful little road right here, as you can tell, that leads out of Project Atlantis and then goes up and then up. But uh, the five block water level has entirely submerged his whole road. It has, is getting really close to submerging his smelter. And it is already submerged this guy's house pretty heavily. And he's online right now. So I think he is in the process of moving. But this place is underwater, like entirely, which is wild. This is why I wanted to open up the server to you guys, which I should mention again, if you missed the previous episode, we opened up the server to everybody. You do not need to whitelist. All you have to do is join my Discord down below. And there's a little channel there where you join, you read the rules, and you can join whenever you want. There's about nine more days until the meteor either strikes the earth or gets shot down. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm truly hoping that it gets shot down because uh, I don't think we would survive the lack of land to build on after that happens because of, uh, you know, there's not really be much land left anyway. So the server will stay up and remain up after that until it is entirely submerged. And whether or not the players wanted to continue to play or not, they are welcome to oh. after that point. As I said, this will be the last series for a short while. We have a beautiful little cube house. I love this design. I like the architecture. Who owns this place? Weird puzzle mansion. Unauthorized? What does it even mean? Nobody owns it? But I mean, I like this. I really like this design. This is really cool. Keep it up, man. Maybe you'll be a, a contender for the $20 Steam gift card, which I, I did I mention we're doing? We're doing that again. $20 Steam gift card to the coolest build on the server. And the day that we do that is the Hello. day the meteor strikes. So, Hello. all right, then we cross this bridge and we head back towards my house, which is nowhere near as impressive as I would like it to be. And we have this guy who, oh, Lord, is he? Oh, oh, no. He has also sprung a leak. I wonder where that water came in. Did it come in? No. Come in through a window. I'm not sure. Or this is just the outside of their house? Yeah, it just seems to be the outside of their house right now. Their insides are kind of working. I guess they're just going to live underwater. You, you can breathe as long as you want. I mean, technically, it doesn't really change anything. And then their next door neighbors are much more prepared with the height of their wall. Um, they even have this giant glass bridge that looks like they didn't finish in time for the water levels rising, so they don't have a tunnel system currently set up. But uh, they'll probably work on that. There's ways to clear water out. It's just a pain in the ass. But we come into their city from there, and everything's clean because they have the garage door ready and running. And uh, they're starting to build dorms and, like, large areas. I believe this is Ghost's Town. Yeah, so a lot of people are actually going to live here because Ghost started the world currency. 
and uh, he seems to be having a whole bunch of people move in, and uh, that's what he's doing. And of course, we head over to my house, and right next to it, Digital's group is building this <sighs> massive wall domed in area as well. This is Ghost. He's not really building pretty. He's just building for functionality. And then we have a massive sky bridge that goes from my house over to here. Let's see. Did they build it into my front yard as requested? They built it up to my front yard as requested. Works for me. And of course, like I said, this is Digital's house, which is not going to have any issues with the rising water levels whatsoever because of how tall this has been built. Hot air balloon rides. She has gone and made a second hot air balloon like you guys saw in the last episode. Uh, $30 for the hot air balloon rides. And of course, they just have this kind of lumber mansion going up and then the other mansion just across the way where they're baking and doing masonry. So this is really cool. I like the way it's coming together. What is it? Wait, this is tier three concrete. Yeah, uh, I've been told that they are pretty much ready to shoot down the meteor. So I kind of saw that coming and uh, I guess I didn't anticipate it to be as quick as this, but they are pretty much like uh, 24 hours away from shooting it down. And I'm pretty sure they are going to shoot it down and uh, they're going to let me know when they do. So I think this guy over here, I think it's Japan is building this. He's doing like a very kind of like Japanese style house as well himself. And I think he's trying to play on my heartstrings from season one where I really like Digital's build and, and uh, she ended up winning the uh, first $20 Steam gift card. And she got Valheim and she's been playing it a lot actually because I, I have her added on Steam. So I'm glad it went to use. I'm still waiting for Melon to reach out and take his $20 Steam gift card, but uh, he's MIA. Or if you already have Melon, reach out in other ways because I haven't seen it yet. I like this house right here, but I believe this is the farmer or the one and only lumber carpenter boy that is responsible for making it so the water levels didn't rise for almost 24 hours because of the amount of trees that he planted in his front yard. Believe it or not, he planted enough trees to make it so the water levels would stop rising, as you can tell. But as per what we're trying to do with this season, we increased how quickly the water was rising because we wanted it to rise. That's kind of the whole point in this experiment. And uh, yeah, he uh, can't, I, I don't think it's even humanly possible to plant enough trees to stop the water levels from rising now. Uh, I'm pretty glad I didn't uh, build on the shaft because uh, the water levels are getting dangerously close to overflowing it. I would have had to build some really tall walls and the land is already starting to die. So it would have been a waste of time. Ryan was extremely correct when building on the ball sack. Now let's see what some other houses. Let's go check out Captain uh, Kirk's Island to the north because I'm curious if he is going to have some issues soon since living on an island is extremely dangerous when it comes to a water world experiment. Oh, okay, so this island's actually well elevated, like very well elevated. So he's not going to have an issue for quite a bit of time. And uh, he's starting to build a wall. It looks like this is a retaining wall heading up, probably to stop the uh, grass from dying, which is going to be like a barrier between the ocean and the grass so it doesn't die, since I believe he looks like he's farming quite a bit. So he doesn't want that land to die, otherwise he won't be able to farm on it. The reason why it dies is the salt water kills everything. If you were to go to a farm, an actual farm in real life, and have a giant um, plane dump salt water on it, it would all die. So that's why things die as the water levels rise. It also has to do with heat, the way that the water levels rise is due to a setting that we have where the heat rises every X number of minutes, which causes the... Uh, Sorry, it's the heat rises due to the air pollution that we're putting in manually. So not only is the temperature going up and things are going to die from that, it's also the sea levels. So it's, a, it's like a quadruple whammy of destruction. We also have the meteor there, so. And on top of that, we could, what, what's, the, what's after quadruple? I don't even know. But after that, we also might have some tailings issues if people don't, uh, to put them far enough underground because if water springs and hits those tailings you're going to see a lot of bleed over into the ocean and that's going to spread far because there's land missing like it's all going to be water and that's just going to spread and it's going to kill everything as well and eventually people are going to be surviving off of fish so you can't kill the fish with the tailings otherwise you literally will not have food which means you cannot play the game which means you lose there's actually another island to the north that I wanted to check out. 
and they already have retaining walls that are holding the water back. Actually, he does over here as well. The speech is surviving because of this external wall. But this person here has already built a, it looks like a sand retaining wall, but uh, they have probably close to two days to get this higher, or that's going to spill over, and I'm pretty sure his entire island is going to be gone. Uh, I don't know how active they are. Their house is rather small, and they literally only have a research table. Seems like they spent the whole day doing this and then never utilized the island after that. So uh, more than likely in the next two days, I bet this is going to be entirely underwater. But I believe that's going to do it for the server tour right now. I need to get some actual work queued up back at my bakery to just produce as many pies as possible. All right, so I haven't been, uh, I haven't done anything since the last episode, actually. I'm going to be doing some grinding today, though. Looks like our meat pies didn't go through because of the chopped meat not going through. But we have 45 meat, so we could do a little bit more hunting today. I'm going to personally eat uh, one of each pie. Probably should have just eaten two huckleberries, and we would have been good to go. Uh, I'm going to move these down to the store because we want to sell those. We got some more brick to keep working on our house. Epic, we actually got sold some food as well, so we'll bring that upstairs to make some more scrap meat. We are going to remove all of these things right here, and we are going to edit the sale list and do pie. One, two, both pies, and I'm looking for five for brick, so I'm gonna do like 10. So that way it's approximately two brick per pie. I think that's pretty fair. You can get 25 bricks or 25 pies for one stack of 50 bricks. That's, I'd say that's pretty fair. Glass, we're going to keep it. 3.5 is pretty, pretty fair as well for glass. I think it's a little easier to make than uh, anything else. So let's go ahead and throw those pies up in here. We also need to deliver Lou Hawk his 60 pies, but I'm going to do that when I have a huge excess because I, I would hate to... I, I was going to deliver him 10 per day. I probably just should do that, but he hasn't even... He hasn't really like hit me up saying like, hey, I need the pies. So I'm going to try to get like two, three hundred of each pie first and then send them to him. I think that would be better. We'll give him we'll give him the full 30 of each like right away and he'll get 90 plus XP per day. That's pretty good. All right, real quick, though, we should get a bunch of scrap meat going. We can do well over 45 because we have the 45 percent efficiency buff. Uh, my butchery is currently sitting at, I believe, level 4. Really? That's it. Oh, that stinks. I wish I could hit 7 so I could make this and have 50% efficiency. Alright, so we're making 81 times 3 scrap meat. That's like 244 scrap meat or something like that. So we're going to take that. And then that's all going to be put into this next set of pies. I believe Ryan said he did a bunch of flour. So we're going to transfer flour over. Okay, well, it doesn't look like a bunch of flour is made, and this looks like where the scrap meat went. 98 of it. 198 of it. Oh, my lord. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's where it went. That is where it went. Let's see why it's doing that. Did the storage... Which is on the bottom for some reason. Why is the bottom storage the closest storage? I feel like Eco really needs to work on the way the stockpiles work, or at least allow us to rename them. Maybe there's a mod for that. Let's see what else we can bake, because I wonder if maybe we could focus something onto something like something that doesn't use flour, because that seems like what's holding us back right now. I could do baked roast and regular baked meat. I don't really want to do baked meat, though, because the difference is it costs pretty much the same as making scrap meat. It does give you a lot more fat than a meat pie, though, does it? 17 versus 15, but this is just more balanced altogether. All you have to do is get your vitamins... And you can get that from the, the huckleberry pies. It's really the perfect combo. So let's not waste any meat on that. Let's just do more scrap meat. And uh, we need to hunt more animals for more tallow. And yeah. I also wonder if I should just make roasts, though. Because you get three scrap meat and a roast. But it costs two. Hmm. But maybe it's not worth it. No, because we just want to stick to the pies. Let's do another 25 scrap meat. We'll probably have extra meat left over that, though. And then our next issue is tallow, which apparently there's a way to turn germ into tallow, and I still haven't figured that out yet. Hmm, but with the baked roast, we get a tallow. 
So we get four scrap meat, we get a baked roast to sell, and we get tallow. And one tallow is used in a pie. I think we're better off making roasts. Because we get the scrap meat, we get the roast itself, and we get a tallow out of cooking the roast. So I think ultimately that's going to be our goal. I think that's actually big brain. Is that kind of big brain? I feel like that's big brain. Plus it says it takes two, but we're at 45% efficiency, which means it technically only takes like 1.1. But this also means it only like for, see like every 10 clicks here is only six, almost half. If we were at 50%, it'd be exactly half. So I think this is more efficient we could also do prepared meat and get two scrap off of it as well we can get four scrap off of bacon does bacon when cooked give you tallow let's see oh baking might not you can, i don't think you can bake bacon i think you have to cook bacon if i'm not mistaken <laughs> yeah so you have to cook you have to cook bacon i don't i don't have uh I don't have the cooking up, and I don't plan on getting cooking up anytime soon, at least, because it just costs so many materials. This ghost heart is, like, trying to sell pies real cheap, but I'm going to hit it with a don't buy ghosts pies. He can just print money. Bad idea. That's, that's, uh, I'm going to hit him with it. I'll hit him with it. Ooh, I actually, I, I need to buy uh, iron in my store. Because I need to repair my tools. So let's go in here. We already sold a bunch of huckleberry pies and a few meat pies as well. Uh, I need to go in here and I'm looking for iron. Would it just be an iron bar? There we go. Iron bar. And I'll say we only need like 10 iron bars. Max by 10. And we'll probably give 5 for an iron bar. It's probably just as hard to make as brick is, I would say. Because I need to repair this hammer, which is just a more efficient way to build. As I burp. And uh, we can also just, uh, we could just use a wooden one. It's not the worst idea, but this is better. He said, check the bank statements. I never once transferred more than starter 100 to myself. So just to start under ghost currency, you get 100 free. And that means you get 100 free pies. Do I do the unspoken and get my free 100 ghost uh, coins and then go buy out their pies and just put them in my store? Is that 1,000 IQ? Literally 10,000 IQ. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see. How, how do I get my starter credits with ghost coin? Hmm. This is a just large brain. I, will they even let me since I hate it? Since I hate the idea of uh, somebody ruling the currency? You have 100 ghost coins for ghost shop to exchange it for ghost coin at ghost base. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to head over to ghost base because I... would like to do that and we need an exchange rate for ghost coin to jared coin since a lot of people are buying things with ghost coin oh that's irritating and my hammer just broke so i need to just get a wooden hammer i'm gonna put this hammer away all right, well, let's head down to, uh, let's just, yeah, let's head down to Ghost House. And I am going to exchange my ghost credits for ghost coin and then go buy their pies and throw them in my store. I think the reason why Ghost can keep his prices so low is that he has contracts. So people, what people are doing is in exchange for goods, they get ghost coins so like he said there's tomatoes and every baked tomato that you do is 0.1 ghost coin every 10 tomatoes is one ghost coin which puts a value on one ghost coin for me i'm just bartering pretty much i'm give me lumber give me i give you pies and it's kind of hard to have a perfectly fair trade in that scenario unless someone specifically like reaches out to you which is not always the case 
but it's cool. I'm glad that somebody's kind of like taking it to themselves to just create a world currency. That's really awesome. But what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to go exchange my credits for coins, buy out a bunch of stuff, and then just throw it in my store or pay Luhawk back as well. Because I devalue this coin. I do not care for it. Where is this exchange? Where is it? Oh, it's up on the, it's up on the hill. On the... Up on the hill. Exchange? Oh, and here's the currency exchange. Just type in the amount you have, which I believe is 100. 100. Yeah, Ghost coin for 100 credits. Do you want to exchange 100 ghost credit for 100 ghost coin? Yes. Okay. Boom. Welcome to ghost I, have, coin. I have 100 ghost coins now. It's like Bitcoin, but they're worse. Is this where you get your snot coin? But if you were day one on the server, you get 100 ghost coins, so go check it out. But what I'm doing is I'm conniving. I'm evil. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to spend ghost coin on absolutely everything and probably sell it or use it for myself. Which I guess isn't really conniving because, I mean, I got the credits, right? He didn't have to give me credits, and he did, so. Hello there. Are you wanting uh, the, um, advanced bacon, yeah? Sure. So, say that again? Sure. Okay. Um, I've nearly got it. I've got... Sorry, one second. Let me just stop my TV for a second. Oh, this in background. It's so loud. Um, I've got nearly all the nails. I just need mortared stone. If you can oh, gather me, I think it's like... It's about 400 mortared stone in total. Oh. Um, we should be good to go. I'm just trying to get some more okay. nails. Okay. Uh, I'm not a mason, but I do have a boatload of unrefined stone. So if you find a mason, I could easily just transport it over. Yeah, there's a I few know. masons nearby, I think. Well, that guy right there is a mason. But do you, do you live close? I literally live. Yeah, I'm just a bit, huh? But you live here? No, I live almost. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, do you have any transportation that you could pick up a bunch of stone? Uh, I have a small car. Okay. Yeah, uh, come through. I'll give you a bunch of stone, order it, and give it to Otter. And we'll figure out something to do for you. Maybe we'll just give, we'll just give him a scroll for helping. Yeah, as well, that's fine. right? Yeah. That seems fair, right? You want to scroll? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, beautiful. Look you at should. that. Things I'll getting done. Get some more nails. What's for sale? Is this the food theory? store? I need so much flour. I have thousands of it. I am buying 20 pies. Mine, gimme. Uh, wait, what, what were you saying again? Sorry, my brain already forgot. I have, uh... I have hundreds of flour. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me uh, go talk to Ryan, and I'm sure I'll try to figure out a fair price. I'll do that in the store. Come by in a minute. Okay. Ooh, we got someone selling us flour. We got somebody... <laughs> I just bought 20 meat pies. Everything's going great. Sorry, I'm a little hyper today. I took pre-workout, and I didn't go to the gym. My car is just, you know, let's, we'll just not even get into it. You know, it just, you know, sometimes the day just be like that, you know? If you ever took pre-workout and didn't work out after, you would understand my pain. I'm just going to kill this bison real quick because I found another dead one. We got two of them. All right, so we got someone that's trying to sell us flour. We just bought out 20 meat pies, which I'm personally just going to restock right into my store. Because although Ghost Coin is nice, it seems like they're running out of stuff so quickly that people might come through to my place. Hello? So, okay. Couple of things. Couple of uh, things. You get 100 free Ghost Coins since you were here on day one. And they are selling food for ridiculously cheap. And so it's like one coin is one pie. So I just bought out all their pies and I'm going to throw them in our store because I'm evil. So if you want, you can go exchange your ghost coin on the, at the brick house on the hill to the south of us. And then uh -huh. down where ghost is, there's a store, where you, a couple of stores where you can buy stuff. I think they're out of pies now, but if you get your ghost credits, you can check back like in the morning and stuff or whenever you hop on and just buy out their pies every time and throw it into our inventory. Okay. 
so we're just gonna do that right now, right? Uh, no, no, no. You can do it whenever, but All right, I just did we my can video. we can steal their pies. So that's kind of the current plan. Okay. And I, I also have someone that wants to sell us flour to expedite our process here. So if you want to do that, we could do that. Yeah, go for it. Okay. I'm making a ton of flour right now. How many f flour is not like hard to make, right? So like, what should we buy that for? We say like 10 flour for one pie, five flour for one pie, maybe. Uh, flour requires two wheat. Two wheat, but you also have to have milling. Mm -hmm. Which is like a process in itself. So I'd say, yeah, 10 flour for one pie. Is that fair? flour cut. What is it? How much flour? No, uh, flour has to be. How much flour be... does it take to go into pie? One. Literally one flour. I also got a bunch of glass so I can work on the treehouse some more. Mm -hmm. I just planted my field, so. So I should be ready to harvest tomorrow. I did just you, harvested you... 500. Oh, 500 wheat? Yeah, it's now oh, okay. going into. Do I even want to buy flour then? How much flour are you produce? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, whoever hundred. was going to sell me that flour, don't need it. You Sorry. need like the other resources, like huckleberries. I'm good on too. Yeah. If you just go on the roof and pick them, go for it. Yeah, honestly, I only need. So I've been making. It's a it just, you know, it's a weird process because if I cut down the meat into roast, I get scrap, which is used in meat pies. But when I cook a roast, I get a piece of tallow. So, like, there's this weird conundrum that I'm figuring in my brain to Why be the most the efficient as possible. Making? I don't know how or where to do the oil or who told me that, but I don't see anywhere to turn wheat germ, germ into oil. It's milling. I make it into oil for you. You do? Yeah. Yeah, but where does the oil go? Oil is just counted as tallow. It's a fat. Oh, can, oh yeah. Items and tag. Oil or tallow. Oh, okay. So tallow so isn't really going... It's four flour for one pie. I yeah. just realized. Not one. So... You could buy a hundred flour and be okay for a while. Because all that flour is just going to take time. That's all it's taking. All the flour. If yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I'd get rather some, get yeah. the advanced upgrades. I need two um, of them. And I'm getting be it, literally more effective. I'm getting advanced uh, baking off of Ottermad. We have to supply a bunch of raw stone because he needs the masonry scrolls. Go down to where my mine is. There's a bunch of stone. Just well, not the scroll. He needs the advanced scrolls. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I told them like, uh, and then we found randomly in ghost town, we found a guy who can do the masonry for us. So we're going to give him an advanced baking. No, like literally return. right next to my place is a bunch no, of stone. No, I know stone. he's coming with a car. He's going to pick it up. And then someone like started digging a mine right next to mine. He yeah. has a ton of stone just laying around. Exactly. And then we have a bunch underneath the house from when no, we no, dug no. out the shop. Like I'm, too. I'm talking, come over to where I am right now. Someone just literally dumped stone on the ground. It's literally everywhere. It's a mess. It's not Are like you down sacked at the farm? like mine. I'm yeah. They literally just came over here and dumped all their stuff. Like it's not in piles or anything. Like just pull his car over here and just say it's all you. Literally. Oh my. Yeah, he should come by and scoop this up. And then all this is mine. I stacked it. Uh -huh. But that's what I'm saying. Just come over here, pick up 50 of it and just load his car up. Just say yep. that was me. That's the plan. And then this is the second wheat field. It's planted again. Mm -hmm. And there a little bit of corn. Good. Are you going to do the ball sack today? No, I already did my video. I got home stuff to do. Fuck the ball sack. So the mason that's going to be doing the stuff for the scrolls actually lives right next to me, I believe. Or he's currently right next to me. Is he actually there right now picking up all that stone? Or is that his stone? That might be his stone. Hello. Hello. Is this is this all your stone right here? No, I'm just traveling towards you. Oh, okay. Like, well, um, so most this this is just dumped here. So like, you could take all of this and make it into the mortared the mortared stone. Um, and then also I can get demo to authorize you over here. He's got this stone right here from digging up the mine. Um, 
yeah, that that should be you know at least like a hundred mortared stone or so. I know he said you need like four hundred, but anything that chips away at it, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll have yeah. Demo come down and authorize you this uh, real quick, and then uh, you can scoop all that up and start mortaring it and give it to Automad when it's done. Okay, cool. Beautiful, thanks. All right, I just got to tell Demo to authorize. Did he just log out? He just logged out. Okay, and I'm going to go talk to Luhawk because I owe him 20, po 20, of, 20 of each pies, and I need to give those to him. Where's Luhawk? What's nice is the 20 pies that I'm giving to him were the 20 pies I just purchased using ghost coin and got entirely for free. Hello. Hello, you're here for pies. Come with me. Yes. Delicious, delicious pies. Have you exchanged your ghost coin yet so you can get free pie? Sorry? The So ghost gave everybody 100 credits, anybody that was here day one. Yeah. And you can exchange those for ghost coins uh, at his little bank to the south. And he's selling one pie for one ghost coin. So you could pick up 50 of each pies. Uh, he's not uh, in stock right now, which is why I imagine because he's giving everybody free pies. But uh, yeah, just, just I'm, I'm going to spread the word to just everybody to buy his pies. And then when he runs out, they'll come here. What I've been doing is buying his pies and putting them into my store. But shh, don't tell anybody. Hey, mechanicalism. Yeah, I'm just the middleman. Like, you know, you go to a grocery store and they're selling pies. Like, they didn't make those pies. I don't even know why we're coming up here. I'm... I forget where my own pies are. Well, you're in luck. I have 20 of each pies for yesterday's payment and today's. And then you can just swing by tomorrow and I will supply you the pies. Let me, here's the 20 meat. And here is the 20 huckleberry. And I've been getting like close to a 90 XP bonus off of that. So pretty darn good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Swing by tomorrow for your other pies and make sure you go exchange your coin. It's uh the brick house on the hill to the south of mine. It's like, uh, yeah, I've been using those charts. Oh, you already have. Okay. Yeah, but he's selling pies for one coin, so I I would go over there whenever he restocks and scoop them up. All right. Good luck, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, that's going to end today's episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And be sure to join the server if you're interested in playing for the next week or so. Obviously, it's going to be up after that, like I mentioned before.